Rebounding was one of the big things that John Sipp has told us would be a key for them, not only in this game, but to turn around their season on a quick flash inside for the Boilermakers. Both teams have had sort of a murderer's row schedule to start the Big Ten Conference play. As that three goes down. Well, there are nine teams in the Big Ten who have either received votes or have been voted in the top 25 in the respective national poll. Have to make the proper decisions quickly. More, a quick trigger three. Knocks it down from the left side. Both on the bench now for the Badgers. Five to shoot. Tough drive. And Farquhar, a chance at a three-point play. And do you rest her? And he said they may give her rest at the end of quarter sometimes just to give her that extended recovery time. That can take you out of what you want to do very quickly. Hilliard getting to the basket, left the reverse off the mark, and now here comes Trailer. Driving all the way to the cup and using the offhand. Silky finish for Kayana Trailer. She's going to continue to find a way for herself, regardless of whatever kind of defensive match she gets. And right on cue, a chance at the three-piece. Hilliard getting on the board and a sigh of relief for the sophomore. So, my dad was just on my case, but she certainly loves him. But, you know, if you have kids who play ball, you know what that feels like. But you want the best for your kids and you want them to want the best for themselves and it takes that extra hard work you have to have confidence to let that ball fly hilliard gives it up with three seconds and douglas gets the floater to go down but you know sharon bursop said we're playing defense differently because of that i mean she would clean up a lot of our errors if someone would get beaten they would just have her there and then do it again <laughs> And, and stay with it. Marquard rattles in and out. Dion, second chance in a three-piece opportunity. 27-26 lead for Purdue. Stapleton, baseline reverse goes down. Nifty move from Sarah Stapleton. And push tempo the other way. I mean, they've found success in transition after the halftime break. Stapleton threading it to Lewis. How about that move? Lewis gets it to go down. Shia Kyle stopping the bleeding a little bit. Meanwhile, Wisconsin offensively five for the last six. Make it six for the last seven, and the bank is open. Giving it up to Moore. Second chance now for Rashia Kyle. Backing down Thompson in the lane and count it. A chance at a three-point play. Moore, step back. Knocks down the triple. What a shot from Brooke Moore. Farquhar driving with the left and gets it to go. And we're tied again, this time at 41. She was closing in, but she wasn't established in front of as a defender on that particular play, and got it done. And now Dion on the other side, in the paint. Sacrificing so much with being tested every other day, and just really going through the ringer for the love of the game. McLaughlin, that's a long two. Purdue regains the lead. Pospisilova. Surveying the floor. Pospisilova on the Euro step. No. Moscow, second chance. You bet. With a double double. Pospisilova coughed it up in the hands of Lewis, and she knocks it down calmly from the charity strike. If she doesn't get it tonight, she will surely get it in their next contest. Wisconsin up one with two and a half remaining. Good feed inside to Dion with the good hands in the finish. Now Moore pulls it out with five. Moore a three. And Purdue takes the lead. Brooke Moore, big time shot. Not a whole lot of movement offensively. It's Lewis taking it to the basket. And we're tied at 55. Here's Carissa McLaughlin. Heaves a three, tipped away. And a whistle on the floor, and a foul is called. Oh, it's a big time shot from Fatou Dion. No timeouts for Wisconsin. Hilliard heaves. And 
Purdue escapes with their third conference win and number 300 for Sharon Versa.